Uh, I made it, but my goodness me, it flipping killed me. Um, we have a very small piece of bone. So while I'm uh, unloading all the shopping that we got there, I'll be out of bone for you, Bear. <laughs> pushing the door into your head, thank you. There you go. Good boy. Actually, it's so late. What is it? Almost three o'clock. I think he might have to make do with that and go without his rack first. We shall skip through to the evening meal. I don't think he will complain. Shortly. And the area forecast for the next 24 hours White, Portland, Plymouth, Biscay, Southwest, backing south for a time of 5 or 6, increasing 7 to severe gale 9, moderate or rough, becoming very rough or high, rain. Then the thundery showers, good to occasionally pour. And now the navigational warnings. Whiskey Zulu 161, England southwest coast, Land's End south westwards, Camp Base, Light Boy, position 50 degrees, 01 decimal 5 minutes north, 05 degrees, 46 decimal 2 minutes west of station. Whiskey Zulu 154, Isles of Scilly, northwestwards, 10 containers reported adrift in vicinity of 50 degrees, 15 decimal zero north, 007 degrees, 47 decimal one minutes west, at 110435 UTC. Cancel this message, 140435, UTC, February 20. Whiskey Zulu, 147, England, South Coast. Torbay Approach. Anchor and 13 shackles of cable. Abandoned on seabed. At position 50 degrees, 26 decimal zero minutes north, zero zero three degrees, two five decimal eight minutes west. Whiskey Zulu one two nine, England south coast, start point, south eastward, fishing gear reported abandoned in vicinity of five zero degrees, zero nine decimal nine eight north, 003 degrees, 26 decimal 55 west. Whiskey Zulu 107, France, northwest coast, of Ushant TSS eastwards, three wind turbine towers, some cap position, 49 degrees, 04 decimal 7 north. 005 degrees, 21 and decimal zero west. Cancel Whiskey Zulu 1173. Whiskey Zulu 031, England to south coast. Eddystone Rocks, north westward. Hand Deeps, Light Boy, 50 degrees, 12 decimal seven minutes north. 004 degrees. 21 at decimal zero minutes west, unlit. Whiskey Zulu 005, England, south coast, Eddystone Rocks, south westward, Echo 1 Light Boy, in position at 50 degrees, 02 at decimal six minutes north, 004 degrees, 22 at decimal five minutes west, Temporarily removed. And now the three-day fishing forecast. Forecast issued on Wednesday the 12th of February 
at 18.24 UTC. Forecast from Thursday the 13th to Saturday the 15th. Forecast for day one at Thursday the 13th. Plymouth, south veering west or northwest 7 to severe gale 9, decreasing at 4 or 5. For a time in south. I think I'm done with that. Actually, I think we heard what we. Let me turn it off. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm editing. I think we heard what. Uh, <laughs> the, the reason I was recording that is because I was aware that were um, local whiskey Zulus. Uh, now, the, the anchor and shackles, I wonder if that's uh, from the Hulk in the, in the bay, uh, the one that uh, was, was trying to get their anchors back. I, I'll have to check the map. It might be a different. Uh, different one. Um, what was the other one? The fishing gear on the seabed. That's got to be Ocean Venture 4. And all the other stuff. It's like, well, it's uh, <laughs> storm after storm after storm. What do you expect? All these things getting, what is it, floating containers and wind turbines going in. It's uh, it's flipping mayhem out there. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a quick time check, actually. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those forecasts are giving, they're getting longer and longer and longer because of all the flipping stuff they got. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it's all happening, and uh, the, the forecast for tomorrow and uh, the next few days is utterly horrendous. So uh, we might be staying in uh, editing videos some more. Okay, uh, enough with that. Yeah, quick, 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 it's got another a couple of minutes to run. I got a couple of minutes. This is what my life has turned into. <laughs> I've just got a cup of it, so I might be able to <laughs> eat a biscuit or something. Um, I'm trying to feed you, aren't I? Just messing around here, mate. I was grabbing the camera for this reason. Um, Bear, when I got him, he had a terrible sensitive stomach. Probably still does. But we um, happily managed to um, find in the local pet store. I'm getting bear's food. I, I, I didn't prepare this, did I? I was gonna, I was gonna do something like this. Right. In the local pet store, we buy that Albion. Um, minced, mince, frozen mince. I chop it in half with a chisel. And I put it in the in the freezer. He gets, you know, I defrost it in the microwave each day. Um, he gets a half of that with cheapest wag that that biscuity stuff. Cheapest, cheapest, you know, wag, cheap stuff compared to everything else. So he gets a half of half of that and a, a tins of volume of the uh, the biscuit, and that is his main meal. Right, let me get that back in the freezer real quick. Right, where were we? Um, around about Christmas, uh, I'd go in a pet store. I can't remember what the reason was. I'm pretty sure he gave me two of those. Some, some, something about they wouldn't fit in the freezer. Or, I, I, I don't know what it was. I'm very grateful. I, I never quite understood why he suddenly gave me two of those. And uh, I thought, ooh, a bit risky, we'll try that. Yeah, we, so I was given these these two big things, and they're slightly heavier than the, uh, the, the ones he normally has, which I have to cut in half. So what I did, I, I, I gave him a third of that, and it's actually in, in the dish there. So that is a third with the cheapest wag. I thought, well, we'll try it. You know, I've, I've got one. Got to give it a go. And uh, Mr. Upset Stomach here. Yeah, I'm doing a piece to camera, Barry. You have to wait, mate. You're starving, aren't you? <laughs> You've had bone and breakfast. I did give you breakfast. You had loads of food already, mate. I've had nothing. Um, so, we, sensitive stomach works okay with that stuff that we're already giving him, and it works okay with this. So this friends, this sensitive stomach thing. I I wonder if other people might sort of note what's going on here, because there's loads of dogs with um, sensitive stomachs. Um, 
Now that stuff, I've, I've got to work out how much that, that is to buy. So I think doing it in thirds like I'm doing, which is more than adequate, probably too much, fat so, um, is, 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 I think it works out cheaper. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, you know what? A godsend. It will. I, I my theory is that this um, this mint. I mean, it's it's basically raw food. It's just raw food, all minced up in the worst sort of you know sweepings from the abattoir. And I mean, that's what a, a, an animal like you would eat if you were wild. You know, you'd be eating all the rubbish. And uh, it seems to work. So your sensitive stomach, we've, we, you know, I think we've, uh, we, we've got enough options not to have to worry about that too much. We certainly, uh, I've still got a tin in the cupboard from when I got you, I think, um, uh, which we haven't yet given you. So I suppose we could try that again and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure it's all this uh, raw mints. Anyway, that was a huge, great little piece of the camera. Uh, enough with that. Uh, that video will now be ready, and I will have to set the next one going, and that'll take another 10 minutes, and then oh, a couple of minutes in between. And then it was, uh, it, oh, what a life this has turned into.